while using speed uh, there was a cutting edge or you can extra edge while you are preparing if you are thorough with your notes uh, i use speed at the la- uh, like few months back especially a lot of dot revision videos that uh, help me a lot i bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of speed medical institute to dr subham jain for scoring a topmost rank of aml 4 in dm gastroenterology in any ss session april 2024 congratulations to you doctor thanks a lot sir thank you thank you so much sir doctor can we know a brief background from where you started till date what all you have done yeah so, so my name is dr subham jain uh, i belong uh, from agra uttar pradesh i did my undergraduation uh, from uh, king george medical university lucknow 2014 batch and i did my post graduation md medicine from banaras uh, banaras university ims and then i prepared uh, for my iiss and this was this was my third attempt okay. but first attempt after proper preparation <laughs> okay can we know why there is a specific interest for dm gastro so when when you are doing a md medicine you seek for branches which give you some extra edge after you go over md and gastroenterology gastroenterology is a field which is very untouched while you doing md and so there is a scope for learning curve is very high in this field this is very long learning long uh, learning term intermeshter branches so there is some hunger for learning more and more throughout your journey from dm or post dm so uh, that's why matlab i had some inclination towards this branch okay so how you joined speed what is your experience with speed in this for preparation so be- yeah basically when i was uh, in my second year of md uh, i got the uh, news uh, about uh, speed and approaches to prepare for my seniors who have used and scored good rank be it my kgmc and my bhc seniors and they also scored good rank and they like inspired uh, motivated me to prepare and speed while using speed uh, there was a cutting edge or you can extra edge while you are preparing if you are thorough with your notes first you have to thorough with your md knowledge otherwise no coaching would help that's my ex- personal experience if you are not thorough with the basics no one can help you beyond getting that extra edge so i uh, used speed at the la- uh, like few months back especially a lot of dot revision videos and dhira sir especially uh, his slides from latest conferences updates that uh, help me a lot because there's so much to study and at exam time what to cover and what not to cover so this knowledge at the end helps a lot great doctor now how many hours did you prepare per day can you uh, tell me on the strategies of preparation what all you did how you arranged to get into this rank uh uh covering about the hours i would say there's no specific thing that this should be the hours it's all about approach some would take 8 hours to study same thing some would take 4 hours i knew my capability so i planned accordingly my since i was preparing i was i was not doing any precision uh, during this src all because i gave solely all my time to preparation because i have to dm there's no point of joining else somewhere if you have to right. dedicate it then only things will come to your hand otherwise you can cannot sail in two ships correct so i did full on preparation at my at my home only after after md uh, i gave attempt in uh, october also that time i got a cml of 51 i was not selected in interval sir okay but that was not because of neat pg i sailed in two ships that's why i couldn't that was my uh, regret so this time i forgot about neat pg uh, neat ss sorry and then i fully focused on ini because this exam require different approach and that different you cannot sail in two ships together how did you prepare for your interview doctor what is your experience in interview how yeah. did you do that ha huh. yeah because interview has helped me in this rank from my cml to aml <laughs> uh, the thing is interview was they are checking you at the final level what are your reflex not what are you answering in your reflex what are your tips nothing that you must to think for for example when a patient comes to an emergency ped what all reflexes come in mind reflex question you ask so basically i watched isd indian society of gastroenterology videos uh, because they had a very thorough discussions there about each and every topic and i recalled my md knowledge also because they were asking basic md medicine knowledge first then they are they were going into proper gastroenterology stuff 
So it's all about if you are good in thorough with the clinics and MD, and you have watched like uh, institute uh, IFG videos or some online preparation which uh, Dheeraj sir told me you you have to study these, these topics. It's uh, but mainly it's about your reflexes. What you answer that time? Yes. In in MCQ exam, how many questions did you attend? Yeah, I attempted uh, uh, seventy seven odd questions. I left three. Uh, I have got right fifty four. That's accordingly I got scored. And then interview after interview, I uh, got a rank of four. How did you uh, prepare general medicine part? Yeah, okay. general medicine part the most uh, feared stuff. Because whenever you're preparing for a specialty branch, you skip the uh, medicine thing. For that, I usually saw uh, Harrison tables. Uh, so because we can't cover everything and re- uh, PYQs recalls with the rest are told that these, these are a question. Uh, though no, you cannot depend on them, but they give you some uh, edge. Uh, rest, it was all be- what I have read in MD. What I did in MD, I backed it. And I went for the exam. How do you want to advise? What advice you want to give for your juniors aspiring for DM gastro? First of all, uh, first advice is that it doesn't matter from which institute you belong. Uh, because many have a INAS thinking that they are not from a good institute. They cannot outsmart uh, other institute people and all. There's some dilemma or some uh, thoughts going on. First of all, there's a, no such thing because if you are good at something, you will definitely get. You have to back yourself. And the key is in INS is patience. One attempt, two attempt, three attempt. Uh, it can take three to four attempts because gastroenterology and rheumatology, endocrinology are branches where there's few seats. And it's all about who lose hope first. If you keep your ho- hopes alive, in two or three attempts, surely you will get because rest everyone are like losing their patience. If you keep that patience till the end, no matter what institute you are, no matter how attempt you take, it will not matter at the end. Great, doctor. So it's time to thank whom all you want to thank who have helped your career so far to build your career. You can use this platform to thank them. First of all, I would like to thank my parents. They have supported me for the last 10 years. I was out of my home, but they have been my everything from started till now. My especially I want to thank like in, when I was in UG second year, there was a time that everyone get exposed to many things in life. But I got two seniors uh, who showed me the path that there's so much to learn, not just MBBS. There is so much to learn. And if you are uh, thorough from the beginning, you won't feel left out anywhere or you won't feel any tough, any entrance, be it uh, NEET, PG, then now SS or after that fellowship, whatever. If you if you just think that there's a learning curve, which is, which is going on, there's no like end to that le- learning curve, then you, should, you will be kept going. The, the then you think that this is the end, this is the terminal stage, you won't prepare. Great, doctor. Very, very, very informative. And uh, we once again, we wish you all the very best and all the success and a great yes, career sir. as a gastroenterologist yes, years in to come. And for a great okay. course and career in DM gastroenterology, all the best yes, to you, doctor. Once again, from the behalf of Speed Medical Institute, wholeheartedly wishes. Thank you. Thank you.